Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. This story got my attention, uh, and as always, I like to question the reasons behind it, look into it a bit more. And it's an excuse to talk about something that's been on my mind, which I just want to throw out there. But let's take a look at this first. Tesco store bans man from buying a sandwich until he downloads an app. Now, as I've already said, if it's in the fake stream media, it's not to be trusted. And this story is one of those stories that is also, you know, it's doing the rounds. It's in the telegraph, it's in the metro, it's in the mirror, etc., etc. And you wonder, you know, how did this, this story about this man and a sandwich get featured in all of these fake stream media platforms? And why? What's the reason? It says here, a man was left fuming after a Tesco uh, after Tesco refused to sell him a sandwich until he downloaded the supermarket's app and signed up for a club card. Apparently this comes from this man's tweet here. He says, <laughs> he says, a distressing experience at Tesco just now, 10.50 p.m. near Chancery Lane Tube. After a work event, I received a text to get a sandwich for my son's packed lunch tomorrow, and I see a store, think I'm in luck, but I can only enter the store if I download the app and sign up to the club card. And it goes on. And it's, you know, it's, again, it's the whole cashless digital trap. But how did this story about a sandwich for some boy's school lunch get into all of these media uh, outlets? Well, first off, this guy, this guy who made the tweet, he's not your average Joe. I mean, they never are, are they, in these news stories? It turns out he's even got his own Wikipedia page. Have you got a Wikipedia page? No, me neither. It says here, he's a chess player, a grandmaster at some point, and he's also a philosopher, it says. And he's also involved in climate change. I found a number of YouTube videos of him interviewing uh, Ukrainians after they were transferring them from Ukraine to the UK. And he's involved with a company called Perspectiva that wants to transform the world. He's not your average Tom, Dick or Harry. Anyway, this story, it says here, this Tesco was part of a new trial of checkout free stores that use cameras and weight sensors to calculate which products customers have picked up and charge for them when they leave. You know, it's a bit like those uh, annoying uh, cashless Amazon stores, yeah? And this guy, who seems to be into technology and whatnot, is complaining in this tweet about how this was a glimpse of a grim dystopian future and he didn't like it. So it says here or something like that. And this sandwich situation just so happens to get syndicated in all of these media platforms. And this again is another symptom. As you know, I've been talking about the smartphones, the digital trap, the 24 seven monitoring, the tracking of everyone and how all of this is being slowly brought in. Avoid these stores that bring in all of this technology. Always use cash. Always try and avoid this type of thing at all costs. But at the same time, you have to wonder, why is this story everywhere? I mean, if they want to bring this cashless automated system in, this totalitarian system in, why then have a story of this random man talking about buying a sandwich and how he's annoyed about a dystopian future why have a story like this syndicated across all of these media platforms? Isn't that giving it too much attention? Wouldn't they want to keep it quiet and not draw attention to their slow digitization of transactions in supermarkets? Or alternatively, it may be a way of conditioning people to it. It could be that as well. Look, this is the, f this is the future system you, you need to not get drawn into. You know, to buy a sandwich, you need to have an app or a club card. I mean, you can see how this is going to escalate. And these technologies are being introduced slowly. You know, it's, it's always a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit more next week or next month. It's slowly, slowly catchy monkey. And for me personally, I refuse to use it or have anything to do with it at every, at every possibility. But this uh, story, it got me thinking about something I was looking into recently about silver, which I thought was interesting. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I'm, I'm only going by what some of these experts have said and from some reports about a decade ago. 
Some people are saying that we are years away from running out of silver. Here we see world years away from running out of silver. It says here the global silver market could face a deficit of 126 million ounces by 2020 and could send silver prices surging. Not only is demand for silver surging and annual supply growth going nowhere, but much of our available silver is being buried in public landfills as a major component in batteries, CDs, circuit boards, and other electronics. Now, there is a very small amount of silver in every smartphone, it's in every laptop, it's in every PC, in circuit boards, it's in electric cars, it's in smart TVs, it's in all kinds of new tech. You see, it transpires that silver has the highest electrical conductivity of all metals. It's an essential element of all of these devices. But it's not something that there is a replacement for. There are alternatives, but it's nowhere near as good or as conductive as silver. And without silver, your products, your uh, high tech, your smartphones, etc., won't be able to perform to the standard they are now. One of these experts claims without silver, tech will go backwards 20 years. Okay, so now look, I'm not an expert on this. I'm just throwing this out there to see if someone can comment on it and clear it up or shed some more light on it. I've seen various interviews where mining experts are getting interviewed and they claim that silver at the current rate will run out by 2040. Another interview, he said, it could be anywhere between 2028 to 2035. This is what some of these people are saying. And they also say it could be quicker because all this technology for all of these great reset plans, you know, 5G, smart cities, all of this interconnectivity is going to need even more silver. For example, electric cars. Electric cars use up to 50 grams of silver in each car. Car manufacturers use up to 55 million ounces of silver per year. A lot of these environmentally friendly devices like solar panels use a lot of silver. And all of this is increasing. All of these governments around the world are using more and more tech. So these people are saying that this is going to speed up the depletion of silver much quicker than they first believed. Apparently there are companies that are attempting to draw the silver back out of used smartphones and other tech, but it's a very drawn out uh, long process and it can't catch up with the creation of new devices. So, you know, like I say, I don't know if I'm correct here and maybe someone, you know, can enlighten us in the comments, but if all of these gadgets, yeah, are dependent on silver because it is the best conductor of electricity and there is nothing that will replace it sufficiently and all of these plans for the future from the control freaks involve high-end tech. How will it work if they run out of silver within 10 years? These ex experts are saying that silver is going to run out at some point or it will be so depleted and rare that it won't be available for public goods, items, tech, electric cars, smartphones, etc. So the question is, if this is true, then how are they going to keep these plans going, especially if these great reset plans involve 5G and 24 seven monitoring and being dependent upon people being attached to their smartphones? How is it going to work in the long run? As if claimed by these people, they are running out of silver at some point in the next 10 years. It would be a bit of a stumbling block if so. It's just something I was looking into. I don't know if, if these experts are right. Let us know what you think in the comments if you know more about this than me. Okay, so let's finish up with a quick quote from the Bible. Ezekiel 7.19 They shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls neither fill their bowels because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Stumbling block. I've been talking about these uh, black mirror devices. The silver, you know, you've got silver and gold are elements in everyone's smartphones. These digital entrapment devices. 
And as such, in this story, it once again shows that people really need to detach themselves from the system and disengage from much of what is happening in the world today because you don't want to get dragged down with it and get stuck in this trap, this digital trap. Okay, thanks for listening. Keep the faith, stay strong, stay focused. Come and subscribe to the website at hugotalks.com and I'll see you later.